how is it going guys welcome to a video that i'm very excited to make this is a game called booga re classic um and i'm actually very excited to make a video on this game because i was approached by one of the developers of this game who gave me early access to make a video specifically for you guys as well as they gave me um a nice set of glow shroom armor which is a unique armor in this game, which, I mean, just look at it. It is super, super sick looking. I can't actually look at the front of my character. If I do this, I can. There you go. <laughs> Yo, nice. <laughs> it, like, covers up my eyes. It's, like, so goofy. I love it. And the developer of this game, or one of the developers, was actually nice enough to give me all of this starter loot and exclusive access to this, to this uh, version of the game, specifically for you guys. So this video is completely exclusive. They also gave me a million coins to start. And of course, I'm at the max level 1003. Uh, I believe that, that is the max level. Uh, I guess they also gave me the infinite Shelly bag, which is like the goober bag. I don't know if that's just like a placeholder model or whatever, but yes, I'm very excited. Today we're going to be showcasing this game. They have trades in this game, which is a very good system I like. Not many game, Abuga games actually have uh, trading. I think the reason is like exploits and stuff. Let's see, they have all the typical stuff, all the typical chests. Let's see, what kind of hats do they have? Uh, let's see, do they have the fire ants? No, they don't have the fire ants. No, I can't get my patented uh, fire ant hat. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's see, before we go exploring, let's just have a look at what items they have. Adorite, Crystal, Emerald, Pink Diamond, Mag, God and God stuff. Okay, so there's no rebirths in this game, to be clear. Uh, this is a, like, Booga Classic game, obviously. Damn, this is- a lot of effort went into this. I like, um, the, like, UI. It's actually fantastic. I like how they have, like, a question mark block. For things that don't have models. I think that's actually good. Um, instead of having it as just like, you know how like default Booga just has as like a black question mark. I like the system that they have. So, as I'm sure you guys know, actually before I talk, uh, let's see what else do they have. Streamer mode, oh that's cool. Camera lock, pickup style, proximity, interface. Yo, this is good. Wait, translucency? Wait, what does that mean? Okay, so it's not translucent. If I click this, uh, I don't know what that does. Okay. Well, I'm not quite sure what that does right now. Maybe that does something that I'm unfamiliar with. Or maybe it's not even in the game yet. Why can't I pick up that leaf? Oh, there you go. But yeah, this is in its absolutely, like, earliest access. So you're gonna have to excuse it if there's any bugs at all. As, uh, yeah, like I said, the game is at its earliest at the moment. So let's have a look around. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, whenever I play a Booga Booga game, the way I determine the quality of a game of a Booga game is by checking out the floating islands. Usually, you can tell if a Booga game is good or bad based off of what it has on the floating islands, how many floating islands, and everything like that. So, we're gonna start off this video by going up here. Ooh, wow. Now, there's actually no way of getting to the Sun Island from the Feather Island. I don't know how you get to it in this game. Every Booga game seems to do it a bit differently. Like maybe you kill the Queen Ant, you have to go to a specific cave. Oh, damn. Oh, wait, that was sick. Wait, I wanna do that again. Yo, if you hold F, it just picks up everything within like a big radius. Wait, that was actually cool. Wait, let, let, let's, let's break two rocks and do that. That was actually really cool. What just happened? Okay, so if I hold F, yeah, like it just starts sucking all of the rocks into my inventory. That's so sick. I really like that. All right, let's see. Do they have, they have like a golden god. Which one is this? Is this the miserable god or what? Let's see. This is Yana. Oh, it has names. They named their gods. Okay, cool. Well, let's uh break Yana and see what I get from it. All right, so just about broken. Let's see what we get. Hopefully, it's like a bunch of gold. Uh, oh my god, a bunch of silver coins. Okay, it wasn't quite gold, but it was silver coins. That was about like what a hundred bucks worth. Nice. I was actually expecting to get some resources, but that's good too. I really like the holding F system. Okay, that that crystal thing over there is really drawing me in. Before we check that out, I do want to check out this yellow thing. I wonder if that, like, teleports you to the Sun Island? That seems like what it might do. So let's trick quickly just hop on this yellow portal. Let's see, if I just jump on it, what happens? Uh, nothing happened. I wonder if you have to have, like, some kind of, like, sun key or something. I don't know. 
Wait, like all sun, no. Hmm. I don't know what this does. I wonder if it's even implemented yet, but I would imagine that that has something to do with how you get to the sun island. Oh, what the heck? Wait, there's like a volcanic god right here too. Wait, okay, this game is actually, actually like, um, creative. Like, there's different things. Wait, I think I may actually... Oh, blood food. I may actually probably, like, genuinely play this. Like, it's not just, like, some, like, copy and pasted booga game. Like, it actually has differences to it. Um, so this guy is called Cax. Le okay, let's absolutely demolish Cax and see what's behind him. Alright, Cax is just about broken. Let's see what we get. Uh, oh, shit, bro. Wait, what, what's that? Okay, so a bunch of iron and, again, a bunch of coins. Okay, there's nothing behind Cax. I thought that was gonna lead to, like, a lava cave or something, but I guess not. Either way, that's really cool. Okay, there's also a big godhead over here, so let's quickly just make a raft and cross this little river. One of the things I don't like about classic Booga games, probably the only, like, big thing I don't like about the classic games is that there's no, like, water walker. You, you can say that, that that's a good thing in some cases, some cases it might be a bad thing, but I just think it's a bit annoying having to, like, make rafts and stuff every time. But this is the Sleepy God, okay, let's mine the Sleepy God. But yeah, um, I think, although that's not really, like, an issue with this game, that's just, like, my own personal, um, like, opinion on classic. I, I like Water Walker a lot. I also like, um, just some of the conveniences that Mojos give you. Although this game does seem great. This is probably gonna be a longer video than I usually make on, like, one-off games. Because there seems to be, like, genuinely a lot to look at. So I might actually make this, like, a bit of a longer video for you guys. A little bit of a treat to ya. Alright, Sleepy God, what do you give me? Oh, the sleepy guy just gave me nothing. Okay, that's clearly not finished yet. So yeah, as I said, uh, this game, like, this is a very early access. So, like, this game is not, th like, this is not how it's going to be released. So, yeah, don't expect that, uh, when you break the sleepy guy, it's going to get nothing. This is just a very early access, just for me to make a video. Holy fuck, lucky boy is going to kill me. Yo, okay, I thought I was going to get some food from that lucky boy. He almost just lit me up. Damn. Alright, I guess we're gonna be eating shelly meat for now. That's another thing I like about the mojos, is you can have that, like, reduced hunger thing. Um, although that, that's only really convenient if, like, you know, you, you, you're not super committed to the game. So, like, if you actually play a game, like, that's not really a big issue. Onyx Meteor Chunk. That has seven and a half thousand HP. Alright, we're definitely gonna mine that. Like, definitely. Let me just eat my food really quick. Alright, we're definitely gonna mine this. Actually, how do you make a god pick? Um, three crystal and some gold. Okay, how do I get crystal? Can I just, like, buy? Okay, I can buy a crystal chest. Good. Oh, you, you, you buy three at a time. Okay. Wait, good. So I don't actually have to use this god rock. I can just use... Uh, okay, let me first... I have to cook up the raw gold. Let's just drop all of that. Uh, let's get, like, a, a second campfire down just to speed this up a little bit. Is there food chests in this game? Adorate, magnetite, pleb, good, great. Oh my god, wait. Okay, food chest. Okay, here we go. Let's just open up, like... Let's open up all three of them just to get some, you know, food really quick. There we go. Alright, this- this one million bucks is coming in clutch, let me just tell you that. Alright, let's get myself a god pig. Uh, why can't I make a god axe? Oh, I don't have enough gold, okay. So this does- No, what the heck? Why won't it connect? No, I can't even use the god pig because it doesn't connect. Aw, oh, dang it. I thought I could, uh, speed this up a bit. Really? Like, that's actually a bit, uh, annoying. Oh well, I'm, uh, sure that would be fixed, uh... Wait, I wonder if I click this, no, this, no, this, okay, I do gotta use this, okay, whatever. Oh, what the heck, I think the owner of the game just joined. <laughs> Yo, I th I'm pretty sure that's the owner of the game. He's just over there doing his own thing, okay. <laughs> that's cool, I guess. Okay, the Onyx Meteor Chunk is broken, and what does it drop? Okay, it doesn't drop anything currently, but this big um light beam is still here, okay. So I think Onyx might be like a future, uh, item. Oh my god, that Banto. Whenever you see like the Banto carcass, it's always a bit gruesome. Like damn, he really died, huh? Uh, I guess Onyx is probably gonna be a future, like, metal in the game. Also, like, they seem to be going like pretty in-depth with a bunch of different things. Like they have obviously Crystal Adorate, etc, etc. But they seem to have like, like, Glow Shroom. 
like stuff. So I wonder where the Glowstream Cave is. But it seems like they're actually going like in depth with this game's like unique identity, which I think is very appealing. Um, so hold on, can I just like open some pleb chests? Oh, I can't. I don't have pleb chests. Damn. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get wood. Okay, well let's let's just get this wood. Ah, dang it. I wish I could have infinite wood, bruh. But there's no market or anything. Let's just eat some grain mush. Alright. Let's, uh, break all of this crap. Suck it all up. Nice. Except for that one log. It's not gonna let me pick it up. I probably didn't need to make a raft to cross this tiny ass gap. But hey, you know. Uh, a little bit lazy. <laughs> Sometimes, like, the leaves and stuff don't pick up as well, but I'm sure that's gonna get patched out. Let's see. Anything cool in the desert. I see, like, certain islands kind of just off in the distance, and I want to check them out, but I don't know if it's fully fleshed out to the point where I can check it out and see all of the cool stuff. Um, oh hey, I wonder, is this, like, what, what's in this cave? Usually this is, like, the Emerald Cave in, like, Booger Reborn and everything. I wonder what it is in this game. Oh, I just ate raw meats. I am now very low HP. Yeah, like, let's break this big rock and see what's behind it really quick. Bunch of stone. I like how my stuff glows. It's like you don't even have to use a torch because like my armor just glows itself. Um, it seems empty right now. Okay, maybe I should make a torch because this is not really doing me uh, much justice. There you go. Oh, add right. Okay, so it just has like an add right. Uh, okay, god pick does not work still. All right. Well, I think we're gonna end the video here, guys. Um. This game seems like it has a ton, a ton of potential. Uh, I'm very excited for when this game uh, gets, like, like uh, officially released. Like, I don't know if it's going to get, like, an alpha or a beta. But when this game gets officially, officially released, I'm going to be very excited for that. Uh, you can definitely expect to see more update videos on the progress of this game because, yeah, it seems very interesting to me. Usually, I don't like Booga Classic games that much, but this one, for some reason, I just really like. It's just like kind of drawing me in. I don't know if it's the fact that it's actually unique. Uh, I think like most Booga games tend to just be clones, but this one seems to be very unique. So I'm actually getting drawn in quite a bit. Uh, let's, can I fall down a bit faster, please? Okay, I'm falling at a painfully slow speed. <laughs> well, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Until then, stay awesome like always, and uh, peace out.